feeling at the end of the summer when the summer is ending and you start getting that feeling like, oh man, school is starting up again. I totally remember having that feeling when I was in school. Now, I didn't hate school and I was actually pretty good in school even, but I still had this uneasiness with school. I didn't necessarily like it. I wasn't super excited to go to school or anything like that. I honestly thought it was a bit of a waste of time. Even in university, I would just skip so much because the courses were kind of pointless. I could have just read the textbook or looked it up online or whatever, and I would have learned just as much as being in that lecture. But over my 30 years of life on this planet, I have realized that learning is super huge. But the real question is, do you need to go to school for that? So do you need to go to school to get a profession, to be successful, to have a career? Well, that's fairly easy to answer. And first you need to ask yourself, do I need to go to school in order to do this? So for example, do I need to go to school in order to be a filmmaker? Well, the answer is no, you don't need to go to school. And then the second question you need to ask is, is it gonna make me a better filmmaker? And if we're talking about film school, then we can probably say yes. So for some professions, you need to go to school. Let's say you wanna become a lawyer, you're gonna need to go to school and get that piece of paper so you can be a practicing lawyer. But there's a ton of professions where you don't need to go to school and pretty much all of the media creative areas are in that sphere. You do not need to go to school in order to be a filmmaker or a photographer or whatever. But that doesn't mean that school is necessarily a bad thing either. You can learn a lot and you can make a lot of friendships, connections, people who you're gonna collaborate with later on in life. It's just a good safe space to practice and learn. But then we need to take it one step further and that's to ask, is this the best way of using my time and money? Or is there a better use for my time and money than school? So here we're really talking about college or university where you're really trying to get a profession. And I would argue that college or university is not necessarily the best use of your time and money. At least for somebody like me. I went from knowing nothing about filmmaking to shooting for companies like Nike, all from just learning online through the internet. That's it, I've never sat a day in a classroom for filmmaking and that's true of a lot of even the highest level filmmakers. They haven't gone to any school. Everything I've learned is from the internet and by doing learning with other people. So yes, you could spend thousands and thousands, tens of thousand dollars, maybe even a hundred thousand dollars on school and four years going to all these lectures and going to school. Or maybe there's a better way. Maybe you can use all that money and all that time and just learn from the internet. Invest in equipment and projects when you're starting out and really learn by doing and from the internet because really there's so many resources online right now. You honestly don't need school for any of the creative fields nowadays, but what you do need is a drive to learn. Now, learning is the biggest key here. It doesn't matter whether you go to school or not, you need to learn. It's the only way to become successful and to find your place and get a profession and to stay there also. You have to keep learning. Learning never stops. Some people need school to give them that more rigid, disciplined environment to learn. Whereas if you're not in school, well then it's all up to you. You have to have the motivation to learn and not be lazy. But if you're dedicated and motivated like I was, you really don't need school to teach you filmmaking. Either way, if you go to school or not, you should be learning on your own as much as possible, really taking initiative for yourself. Because that's really the only way that you're gonna learn in the end. You can go to school and learn absolutely nothing if you're not interested and you're not into it at all. School and being young in general is such a good time to just figure out what you're good at and what you enjoy doing. And once you figure out that one thing that you really enjoy doing and you're also good at, then it's game over. It's really easy to stay motivated and just start learning. Whatever the method of learning is, whether it's school or the internet or whatever, you will start learning at all cost. So to become a filmmaker, do you need to go to school? No, definitely not. Is it bad? No, not necessarily, but there might be some better ways of spending your time and money. But the key thing is to start learning, start doing it now. Don't wait for school or anything else. Start now. 
All right, so let's say you did want to start learning right now. What are the best resources to start learning from? Now, these are just a few of my favorites, but there's tons of resources. Number one, we have No Film School. It's a really cool website. It has everything to do with filmmaking, everything from new tech to behind the scenes of Hollywood films. It just has so much good information on there. I highly recommend No Film School. I check it all the time. Number two is Skillshare, and they're actually the amazing people that sponsored this episode. Skillshare is a really cool platform with just tons of courses. I think it's over 15,000 courses on all sorts of stuff. So it doesn't matter if you're interested in filmmaking or graphic design or photography, there's so many courses for you to learn from. And it's ridiculously cheap compared to, let's say, if you're gonna go to school and you're probably gonna get a better education in a lot of ways if you just watched a whole bunch of Skillshare videos. I highly recommend putting in some money into your learning experiences, especially if you're not going to school and paying all those tuition fees so a site like Skillshare is perfect it's super cheap and you're gonna get a ton of value for your money there's definitely a course for you no matter what you're interested in and the best part is right now the first 50 students are gonna get a free two-month membership to the website so there's nothing stopping you from learning right now so number two is Skillshare go and check them out right now link is in the description number three is my friend Peter McKinnon's channel he puts out all sorts of amazing tutorials on photography and filmmaking and editing and everything else in between. Most of you are probably already watching his videos, but if you're not, make sure to check out Peter McKinnon. He has a lot of really good information and you're gonna learn a ton. Number four is a channel called Film Riot. They've been doing this for a really long time. I don't even know how many years, but I've been watching their YouTube videos for a long time and they have really cool information. It's a little bit higher level information, I would say. They're really trying to make narrative shorts and I think they even wanna make feature films later on. So if you're interested in more of that narrative filmmaking, Film Ride is the place to go. They also have tons of other stuff on their channel. You're gonna learn a ton from them. So definitely check out Film Riot. And then number five is Shane's Inner Circle. So Shane Hurlbut is this DP from Hollywood. He's DP'd all sorts of movies. And he has this thing called the Inner Circle, which you subscribe to, I think it's around $20 a month. And he puts out basically tutorials and behind the scenes of his shoots and all sorts of stuff. And it's really high level stuff. So this is really, if you wanna be a serious professional filmmaker, I highly recommend Shane's Inner Circle. It's kind of like you have this one-on-one -on -one relationship with a really legit, Hollywood DP so you're just gonna learn a ton of really high-level stuff so this one isn't for the beginners but if you're really into filmmaking and you want to be a professional I highly recommend Shane's inner circle so that's just a few of my favorite resources but there's so many more and don't be afraid to put some money into these for example Shane's inner circle I subscribe to it and it costs me a little bit of money but it's really worth it and it just forces me to keep learning and keep learning and innovating myself so I don't start falling behind either and I can keep up with the times. And remember, I'm not telling you that you should not go to school or school is just a terrible thing. All I'm saying is that you need to think about all your options and figure out what's the best option for you. And don't worry so much about what society tells us we should do, that you should, you know, finish high school and go to college and get a stable job. There's a lot of different ways that you can make a living and get a profession for yourself. And not all of them require for you to go to school in order to be a part of that profession. And it's also an encouragement for you guys who, for whatever reason, can't go to college, whether you can't afford it or whatever is stopping you, you do not need to go to film school in order to become a filmmaker, or you don't need to go to photography school to become a photographer. You can learn so much online right now and just by doing and working with other photographers or filmmakers, you're gonna learn so much and you're probably gonna make some money along the way. And getting paid to learn is the best thing. I love that. And to celebrate back to school, and because I wanna help each and every one of you become a better filmmaker or photographer, I'm putting everything on sale. Back to school sale is starting right now. The LUTs, the presets, all my teaching courses, everything is gonna be on sale. So if you've been checking out some of those, make sure to get them right now. Now is your chance. You're gonna get a really good deal on those. So back to school sale, everything on sale for the next couple weeks. All right, let me know what's your favorite resource to learn from right now. Comment it down below. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.